Hi, this is Stacey Chalemi from The Advisor, founder of The Complete Herbal Guide. Today, I'm very excited because we have a wonderful guest with us. It's Tom Palandino, and Tom does amazing stuff, and he's into spirituality, and his services are just phenomenal. And he's here to tell you a little about himself, what he does. And so, Tom, take it away. Tell everybody about, you know, all, all about you and all the things you do, because it's amazing. It is amazing. Thank you for the invitation, Stacey. We're going to speak about Tesla energy, what some people might call quantum energy or scalar energy. So this is not electricity. And I'm a, I'm a theorist, I'm an inventor, and I work with scalar energy instruments. And when I work with these instruments, I can perform incredible feats. I can perform incredible work functions that you cannot readily perform with electricity. So scalar energy is a new technology. We can utilize it to improve quantum health. This is not a biological process, it's an energy process. And we'll explore that. We'll, we'll get into how this benefits people and animals and how I think I'm at the forefront of, if you will, introducing a new science to mankind. Wow. You know, a lot of people don't realize that the, the majority of our universe is, is run and functioned by energy, that we are a source of energy ourselves. So maybe you could like, you know, for people who don't really understand, because so many people, you know, it's a, a lot of people can't see out of the box. So, you know, for people who are listening that might be interested, but don't really know a lot about it, maybe we could touch base before we begin our conversation and explain to them how powerful energy is and how it has a huge impact on our world and, and today. You're right. So look at the universe from a macro standpoint. The sun and the stars are, are predominate in the universe, and that's where you get energy, light from. Those right. are the storehouses for light. So th this is uh, obviously not, not, not nothing to be ignored. Yeah. Everything is filled with energy, sunlight, starlight. The billions upon billions of stars give energy to not only our planet, but the entire universe. And why is energy so important? It's fundamental. It dictates nature. So if you really want to get behind the driver's wheel, you really have to deal with energy light because energy is in control of nature. And I, when you have an energy instrument, <clears throat> in many ways, then you can afford yourself. You have access to nature as I have access to nature. Now, can you explain a little to people how much of energy has an impact on our bodies, the way we focus, the way we think, the way we feel, how, you know, why is it that energy is such a, a powerful source and how it affects humans itself? Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. Energy gives us life. I believe our DNA is created by scalar energy. I believe the fact that we can think that's a really a, a light process. It's scalar light that allows us to think what gives us a heartbeat light energy right and without light energy you don't have a heartbeat you, you don't have a heart rhythm you can't think so there has to be something that's fundamental it's something that provides instructions and it's light it's energy that provides instructions not only right. for biological life for spiritual life for everything Yes. Now, for people who don't understand what exactly scalar energy is, can you tell them in a little simplistic form what <laughs> scalar energy really is? Because they hear that term because it's not really talked about a lot. You know, make, make them understand what scalar energy really is. Yeah, it's so simple. Scalar energy, scalar light is the light of the sun. Okay. It's the light of the sun and the stars. What gives us this never ending light. It's scalar light, it's not electricity. Right. So this is why this is so important. This is why great men like Nikola Tesla spent his life trying to work with scalar energy, which is right. the light of the cosmos. It's the energy of the universe. Why is right. that important? Well, and, um, amongst other things, it's free energy. If we can yeah. tap into the sun, we will have an unlimited supply of free energy. But well, that's another discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what benefits do people have uh, you know, with scalar energy? Okay, now I'm going to make this very clear. When I work with people, I have scalar energy instruments. Mm -hmm. I don't work with people. I work with their photograph. So mm -hmm. what do I mean? People email me a photograph. My photograph has a signature. It has my signature. Right. I can take somebody's photograph and place it inside a scalar energy instrument. 
And the instrument will be able to look at the brain waves and balance them or balance the seven chakras. The instrument, a scalar energy instrument, will look for bacteria or viruses. Wow. It will target those viruses, that bacteria, and destroy them. All of this is done through the interface of a photograph because the photograph actually is a person's bilocated version. Yeah. So if you ever want to see your mirror-like image, it would be scalar energy on your photograph. This is my twin. This is my identical twin, so to speak. This is my energetic twin. Right. So people never visit me. They simply email me their photographs and I can balance their chakras and I can eradicate viruses and bacteria. And I do it again with these custom built scalar energy instruments. It's it's non-physical. It's always a light process. So it's painless. It's simple. It's easy. Right. But this is my groundbreaking research. And, and I can prove or at least I can anecdotally prove what I'm doing through thousands of testimonies. Now, you were mentioning to me before we started the show that you were working with people in Delhi, and you yes. said that um, you had some remarkable research that that what was that uh, came through. And yes. can you tell us a little about that? Yes, we're, we're working with an HIV AIDS clinic in Delhi, India. Remember, I only work with photographs. So here, for instance, this is one of the photographs from Delhi, India. This is from the Om Prakash HIV clinic in Delhi, India. Now, we've worked with 5,000 people at the HIV clinic. Now this is again, people are HIV positive. And after we work with these people through their photograph, invariably these people say they feel better and they no longer have any symptoms of HIV. Those who we, we've treated, those who've given us their photograph, everybody has reported that not only do they feel better, but if they have a follow-up PCR test, the test is not detectable. There's no detectable viral load. Yeah. So we know we're doing something significant. You know, this is halfway around the world. I live in the United States. Right. In which people can send me a photograph. I can, if you will, identify the HIV virus, the signal through a photograph, and I can send the information necessary in the quantum field to destroy, to eliminate the HIV virus. Now, I can't prove that at a distance, but the people, at least anecdotally, are telling me that they no longer have a viral load and that many of these people have, have uh, forsaken uh, any type of antiviral uh, medication, that they feel better, that they're gaining weight, that they, again, they don't have any symptoms of the HIV viral disease. Wow, that's amazing. Now you mentioned that you use a device. What type of device do you use? In simple terms, it's, it's a quasi Tesla instrument. Mm -hmm. Tesla was you, uh, employing free energy, and, and I use free energy through this scalar energy device. Now, what do I mean? I can capture sunlight. If Tesla was able to harness sunlight, starlight, he was. He called it radiant energy. Right. I call it uh, scalar energy. It's all from the sun, which is the free energy of the cosmos. So they're custom-built instruments. It's rather involved but the, the long and short of it is when you're working in a scalar energy dimension it's not electricity right and you can do so many other things with you can do so many things with scalar energy that you cannot achieve with electricity and magnetism now what are some of those things can you tell us yeah um well my, my predecessor his, his name was hieronymus he was developing a scalar energy instrument he was able to work and, and monitor the Apollo 11 astronauts while they orbited the moon. Wow. So Galen Hieronymus took photographs of the Apollo 11 astronauts and he monitored their biorhythms while they were on the surface of the moon. Um, he also used a scalar energy instrument to uh, work on uh, crops and he was able to eliminate uh, pests, insects from crops, from agricultural crops. Uh, Tesla was able to use scalar energy. He was able to illuminate light bulbs at a distance with scalar energy. Again, that's free energy that you can send at a distance. And he was able to demonstrate he could illuminate a light bulb. So all of these are, are indications that this is very real, that these instruments follow scientific laws. What, what I'm really keen on now is to work with people and to be able to eradicate the pathogens, the microbes, at least in the quantum plane that that infects them and um i'll let them i'll let the people speak as to the results <clears throat> i have to be very open-minded this is a new science 
Right. And right now, the body of evidence is really upon the people. I could theorize all day long, but the key is the testimonies. And our website has thousands of testimonies. So I know it, it's much more than just auto-suggestion. It's real. Right. Now, when... Um... Now, so when you use this device and you see certain problems within an individual's health and what do you do Like, do you do tell them, like, do you tell them you need to do X, Y, and Z, or is it something that you can send over to them that will actually help the healing process? The, the people don't have to do anything. When, when the people from India sent me photographs, I, I didn't ask them their medical condition. Frankly, I don't want to. That's their right. privacy. The instrument is designed to look for hundreds of thousands of microbes, germs, and to destroy or at least to break down the molecular bonds of hundreds of thousands of germs, microbes. And it does that. So I program these instruments. They're standardized sessions. I don't go after, if you will, the, the diagnosis of one individual. No, yeah. I, I work with, I work today, for instance, I was working with 400, 500,000 people in my laboratory by way of their photograph mm -hmm. and the sessions are standardized it's i treat everybody the same so when you're working with light you can do that now this this is not a medical procedure this is right. a quantum procedure it's quite different and we don't access one person at a time i can access if you will many people by way of a collage of photographs okay wow so if you will you know this is a quantum leap forward Indeed, it is, which oh, we can work with. Yeah, we can work with, with, frankly, millions of people a day by way of their photograph. We can balance our chakras. We can, uh, if you will, identify microbes and eliminate those microbes. And the instruments all are also capable of uh, assembling, creating nutrients. Mm -hmm. uh, there's just, there's so many things you can do with this energy because it serves as the instructions of the universe. I really just want to drive home that point. A yeah. scalar energy instrument has a certain control and a mastery over not only physical matter, but over um, our, our spiritual sense, our, uh, our conscience. Yeah. Now, does someone have to physically send you the picture? Or let's say that they have a picture on the internet, can you take that picture or they have to physically touch it with their energy? No, that's the beauty of it. People email me a photograph. That's all I need. They don't need to physically touch the photograph. Why? I'll use my photograph as a, an example. My photograph is composed of light. Okay. Right? Any type of photography has a source of light. There's a source of light on that piece of paper. It's my source of light. Yeah. So when I work with people, their source of light, their code is my code. It's identical. So I could either work with people in person. I've worked with myself in person and it's effective. Yeah. Or I can also work with my photograph and it's just as effective, just as if you will, um, miraculous. So this is the new science in which you and I can have a discussion yeah. by way of video. You're not in my office. I'm not in your office. We share an image. Right. But likewise, a scalar energy instrument can pick up the image on a photograph and can access that image at a distance. Wow. That's amazing. Now, do you use one type of device or are there several different types of devices for different purposes? Yeah, there's many devices for, for many purposes. In my laboratory today, for instance, I'm working with 10 instruments um, okay. that are operating around the clock. So it's a rather extensive laboratory. It's rather involved. Wow. Now, is this something that it takes time to um, develop the results or is this something that depending on the situation and what you're you're actually working on, can you get results instantaneously or is this like a process that takes a while and then you'll be able to come to your conclusions? And to answer your question, both. Many people say within the first day of sessions that their chakras are, are, are cleansed or rebalanced and that they, they can get if you will, sleep, they can have a, a meaningful sleep at night. Yeah. Others say that if, if they had some type of congestion, some type of bacterial congestion, they say yeah. that within a day or two that they feel better. And then over the course of time, some people want to stick with us month after month, say that this continues to enhance their health on a gradual basis, which is really right. music in my ears. Perhaps yeah. because, yeah, we're doing a chakra balancing every day, but we're also downloading nutrients we can download vitamins and minerals in the quantum plane yeah. meaning 
that that this intake of micronutrients will likewise uh, elevate our health over the course of time. Wow, that's amazing. That is truly amazing. This is Tesla technology. You know, the world is starting to realize what Nikola Tesla and these other inventors have, have accomplished. Yeah. It's very real. Oh, you definitely. Know, I, I have, yes, I have Tesla instruments. I have instruments that a man by the name of Hieronymus developed. Yes. And these instruments control quantum energy. It's not <laughs> electricity. There is another energy, chi, prana, quantum energy. And you can use quantum energy to enhance human and animal health. Well, if you go back into time and history, they were talking about this, you know, in in different sorts, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, you know, different scientists were picking up on it, you know, by in fragments, they saw there was a a higher power, there was more than just the physical being the physical aspects that we see on our planet that there was more out there. And that, you know, and and the energies played a huge role in that in that respect. Absolutely. You know, many cultures have revered the sun and, and, and realized that that if something is able to provide power to the sun yes. you know, throughout the centuries, that must be the life force of the universe. I mean, why doesn't the sun ever run out of energy? Right. It, it's powered by God. It's it's the life force of the universe. Right. So I would much rather tap into the sun than an oil well. I'd oh, much yeah. rather tap <laughs> into the sun right? Then some yeah. limited, then coal or iron ore. Why not just go straight to the source, which is God's light? I always say, if you think about it, okay, the sun, you know, the, the sun gives us energy. It keeps the trees alive. The trees produce oxygen. Like mm-hmm. if we go through every aspect, there's a purpose for everything that's on this yes. planet. There is a purpose for it that keeps us exactly. alive and being. Yes. And if you follow it up the ladder, it always leads to light, to energy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Light, light gives us photosynthesis. Light grows the plants. Yes. Right? Then we live off the plants. Right. Okay? But if we you know, go up the ladder and, and, and go to the cause and effect and get in relationship without light, without energy, we you wouldn't be able to live. Photos- <laughs> exactly. There is no life. Yeah. So this is this is the key to my research. I'm working with the life energy of the universe. Yes, it's technical, but we'll keep it simple. We'll keep it philosophical for this talk. Yes. Scalar light is the life, L-I-F-E, of the universe. It gives expression. It gives life to everyone. Now, tell us a little about your website and the different services that you provide so people understand, you know, if they want to contact you, where they can go and what they could, you know, what they what you could help them with. Sure. The, the website is scalarlight.com. S-C-A-L-A-R. Now, I offer on the website free sessions to everybody in the world, 15 days of free sessions. And if you send us, you're going to email us once again your photograph. We only work with photographs. We will balance your your chakras. We will uh, identify and eliminate microbes. And in so doing, after 15 days, we allow people to experience and make their judgment. Right. It's up to people. They, thank you. This is a new science. It's a new protocol. I developed this protocol. And with that in mind, it's only fair that people should be allowed to try this free of charge. There's no obligation. Go to the website. You can send photographs of family members if you have their permission. Include your pets. Mm-hmm. Many times a dog or a cat will have a favorable experience. And you can judge not only from yourself, but from a pet if a pet feels better. Right. Thank you. And this is the way I prove it to people. I just, I go straight to the, straight to the point. Let's cut to the chase. Send me your photographs. I'll work with your photographs. I'll convince you that this works. You will convince yourself essentially. And, you know, and when you're going through any type of medical issues or any type of problems, even if you, the chakras play such a huge source in how we feel. If one chakra is out of alignment, the whole body goes out of alignment. Cause just like the yeah. spine you have to, it has to stay in alignment or problems occur. And yes. if you do meditation yes. and you, you do meditations that are focused on the chakras, a lot of times you can feel a difference in certain areas of the chakras. And if you don't understand what it is, you could look it up on the internet, what doesn't feel right. And it, it usually will tell you exactly, you know, you'll say, I have, I have arm pain. Well, usually the throat or the heart 
you know, it could, will be out of, out of balance. And if you do certain meditations, you can feel the difference where, you, you know, and so it, it all, it all plays with energy alignment, everything being in aligned with one another and you have, you know, focus, clarity, you know, it all, it all, it, we're, everything is entwined with everything. We're all entwined with each other. If I come in the room or even talk to you, our energies are going back and forth to each other and, you know, and it can change in someone's mood where it could bring, it could lift up that person or it could, it could bring that person down. Our energies are always circulating and always affecting us in one way or another. I think, I don't know if you agree with that. You're absolutely right. I, I agree with you. <laughs> I agree with you. So we, it's it's considered everybody has seven chakras. Yes. And they spin. Why? Because scalar energy spins. It's a vortex. So as you, as you propose, when you meditate, you will, if you will, rebalance those spinning vortices. Yes. Now, this is the key to my research, going to nature. Okay? This is not man-made. I am sticking with nature. I'm sticking with energy. And our, our seven chakras are obviously created by God. And if we can rebalance those, which are spinning vortices, then you go straight to the issue. Yes. We're not working with chemicals. This is not massage. We're working with information, light, energy. Yes. And in so doing, it's, it's a fundamental approach to balancing your brain waves and balancing your chakras. This yes. is what people experience when they say, yes, I've been praying. I'm in a meditative state. I agree with you. What is the driving force? What is the fundament behind that? It's light. It's energy. Right. The proper type of light, scalar light, pure light, quantum light will balance the chakra, will balance your, your, your seven chakras and your brain waves. In so doing, you will achieve, many people will achieve that meditative state. Now, you don't need an instrument to do that. People do that automatically through prayer and meditation. So this is just, if you will, uh, it should be considered an admonishment that yes, prayer and meditation work. Right. And, you know, it's, it, I went to uh, Sedona, Arizona. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that area, but they have like over seven voices and they have you know some say seven some say 15 and you go there and, and for for thousands of years they have they have statues and different buddhas and different uh things that they've preserved and if you go to the grounds a lot of times you'll find the crystal healing rocks you'll find the white crystals and you'll find you know which what represented purity protection which gives out energy and then affects the body you know so it, it was very it was a very serene you know when i went there it was very serene very common there and it was the energy i believe this the the energy itself the way everything was it just it played a part on how i felt the, my behaviors my focus you know it, you know energy definitely is powerful yes and that thank you i i I believe that the driving force, the animating force in Sedona is scalar energy. There's a lot of scalar energy that is upwelling that is being broadcast. Yeah. And people feel that. That's why you have this special sensation when you're in Sedona, because it's filled. It's a vortex. It's incredible scalar energy. It's not electrical. It's not magnetic. It's scalar energy. Yes. Yes, it is. It definitely yeah. is. Now, can you? Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. And many people, have, they've seen that in, in uh, Sedona, there's different uh, uh, behavior. Animals behave differently. I know some people can hold a compass in, in Sedona and the compass will not orient mm -hmm. because a compass cannot orient in a vortex in the scalar energy force field. Right. So the, the, the force field, the scalar energy is so strong in, in Sedona that even a compass cannot find the, the north pole the north cannot orient right and it's amazing it's, it truly is it really is now once again can you just tell everybody where they can find you uh, okay so sure the website is scalarlight.com s-c-a-l-a-r light l-i-g-h-t scalarlight.com please if if you're inclined look at the website and read the thousands upon thousands of testimonies that should be convincing Right. And then if you want to take it to the next step, send us, email us your photograph. It doesn't have to be a current photograph. Any photograph will work. Your your light field, your information stays with you for light. 
for life. So it doesn't matter how old the photograph is. And for 15 days, we'll balance your chakras, we'll eliminate microbes, and we will provide you nutrition. All of this is in the comfort of your home. You don't have to change your lifestyle. You don't have to observe a special diet. Scalar energy, the life force energy does the work. You don't have to work. Light energy will do this for you. That's amazing. Now, do you have any blogs on your website or any article? <clears throat> We do. We have we have um, uh, probably fifty or sixty blogs on our website. Oh, excellent! And, and you you please take a look at the the recent blog that we put up for for this HIV clinic in Delhi, India. And the reason I, I'm focusing on that is <clears throat> this is the testimony of over five thousand people. We've worked with five thousand people at one clinic in Delhi, India, and everybody feels better. That's amazing. So how, you know, yeah, how could that be auto suggestion? It's not. How, that's yeah. not an anomaly. Five thousand people. That's that's quite telling. That that's quite significant. And those, and I, I show on the website, we have some PCR tests from people from this clinic, and nobody, nobody has any viral load after we work with them through their photograph. They no longer have any viral load. That's amazing. So we're going to change the world. This, this energy offers great promise to mankind. Tessa was right. The other inventors were correct. They were also on the mark. This is free energy. It's a new technology, and it will solve our problems. Right. So I, I ask your audience to at least look into this and help us solve problems. I, as a researcher, I want to solve problems. I don't want to complain. I solve problems. I've, I've worked with 5,000 people in Delhi, India, and frankly, we have solved their problem. That's amazing. And they, and they didn't have to resort to any pharmaceutical medication that they were able to actually do it naturally. That's amazing. What I'll do is I'll put your information in the um, descriptions, both in the podcast and on our YouTube channel where we place our uh, video podcasts. And that way they can get in touch with you if they're interested. You know, And I think this is something that a lot of people should look into. And if you're cynical, try it anyway. See if it works. You know, you might not be so cynical afterwards. You know, we can't, you know, sometimes, you know, you have to be open-minded and even if you do feel a little cynical, it doesn't hurt to try, you know, and then, you know, if, and if you're proven wrong, then you come to a realization that, wow, this actually works, you know, and maybe it'll broaden, you know, that person's mind to, you know, other things in life. So it doesn't hurt to give it, give it a try. So I definitely, definitely encourage others to give it a try. It can't Thank hurt. You. No, it can't. It's it's the energy from the sun. Obviously, none of us are is very injured. powerful. Yes, I, yeah. I'm a true believer. Yes. Yeah, it's it's a it's, it's non-allergenic, right? Yes. I never knew anybody who had an allergic reaction to the stars or the sun. So, this is simple and easy. This is the easy way to quantum right. health. It's not biological health. It's quantum health. Yes. And again, we're working through force fields that are only found in the quantum realm, a quantum force field that we access through your photograph. So don't don't try and compare this to Western medicine. It's not. No. I'm that a researcher. I'm not a physician or a nurse. I am a researcher, and I developed a new science, a new technique through photographs. That's amazing. Now, do you have any future product uh, pro uh, projects that you might be working on in the, in the near future? Someday, either I will or somebody will invent it free energy device, Stacey. Nikola Tessa had free energy. He right. understood how to capture the energy of the stars and then use that, if you will, harbor that energy to produce power. Right. Well, if we could reproduce his work, you know, it's there. It's, you don't have to create a power plane is what I'm getting at. Yes. We don't need to generate power. We need to harness power. Yes. There's a big difference. Today, we generate power through natural gas, through coal, nuclear, through windmills, et cetera, et cetera. All of that is gone. The only thing we need to do is to use the sun and the stars as the power plant. Yes. The new power plant are the stars. Right. And all we have to do is access the energy of the stars. And if we do that, we will have free energy. This is right. the dream of Nikola Tesla. And the world will change. Yes. 
and you know and and it's funny because when you when you were speaking about free energy i was thinking about the, the moon and when there's a full moon there have even been studies that people with epilepsy had more seizures people's behaviors change people become more a little more erratic because it's right. a full moon and the right. amount of energy it comes it affects yeah. people and it affects their brain and the way they think and the way they feel yes you're absolutely right you're absolutely right so energy is all around us it's fundamental and uh, people realize now how how poignant how how significant this energy is it factors into our life whether we realize it or not and it's the animating force of everything again i i firmly contend that scalar energy life force energy allows us to think it'll it creates our dna it gives us emotions yes so this yes we are in the driver's seat now Scalar yeah. energy puts us in the driver's seat of the universe. Well, I definitely encourage everyone to maybe send you a picture or even inquire about it on the on the website, you know, and ask mm -hmm. questions. And and if they are curious or they want to feel better to send you a picture and to, you know, to check it out, you know, and, you know, it's it's been an amazing pleasure having you here. And I, I love the idea of scalar energy and, you know, um, quantum energy I was familiar with, but I wasn't familiar with the term scalar energy. So I'm so glad that you explained explained it more thoroughly to people and people can understand it in a more detailed way. And now people understand the powers of it. So they could actually contact you and maybe now they have opportunity to feel better, to actually heal in some way, depending on what they're going through in life. And maybe this could be a step forward for them to feel better so they could live a happy, healthy and productive life. So it's been a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you, Stacey. Thank you so much. Uh, is there anything that you'd like to say to the audience before we leave? Uh, any tips or yeah. anything that you like? Uh, to I'm going to I'm going to make this very simple. Our mind, the brain, the mind, and our heart, our feelings are driven by scalar energy. So this is not an esoteric subject, people. Everybody has a mind, a brain. Everybody has a heart, feelings, emotions. So when you tap into your your mind and your heart. You're tapping into scalar energy. There's instructions. Something has to give meaning to your mind and your emotions. It's scalar energy. They are scalar energy instructions. So when you think, and when you have a heartbeat, that's that's a function of scalar energy. Right. So this is not esoteric. Everybody is a scalar energy expert. I say this a million times, whether people realize it or not. Everybody in this listening audience is a scalar energy expert because everybody has a mind. Right. Everybody has heart feelings. Yes. And, you know, and that is an excellent point. And, you know, that's why people say talk out to the universe or, you know, <clears throat> or, you know, pray silently to yourself or to meditate and to keep thoughts in your, in your mind. Oh, my throat's getting dry. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's because, the energy could be so powerful. The way you, the way you produce it, the way you send it out, it actually, you know, change things. And people don't realize that. But, you know, the way you explained it today, I think people will have a better understanding. And I think people will want to actually maybe try it. You know, so you know, thank you so much for sharing this information, and thank you so much for all the research you've been doing and the great work that you've been doing, like helping people with HIV. And, you know, and who knows in the future, you know, what else you could, you could help people with. And, you know, and maybe this will be a new road for science and, and, you know, and for the medical field, you know, to actually toy around with and maybe, you know, add on to, sure. you know, besides just, you know, trying to use pharmaceutical drugs, you know, like a lot of people are starting to use you know, the roots of plants and other opportunities to heal themselves more naturally so this could be another way so thank you thank you stacy appreciate your time thank you uh, thank you you have a great day thank you so much tom i appreciate your time on the show god bless you too